Hey guys, how is everyone today? Happy Friday to you. Uh, this is day three of our bedroom transformation. I did not record on day two because just for the simple fact we were so, so busy what we were doing. Um, our first day was actually on Tuesday. So this is actually day four. Um, Tuesday is when we started cleaning out the bedroom and getting everything ready for them to deliver the uh, bedroom furniture on Wednesday. Well, Wednesday came, 10 a.m. Get a phone call. Well, it wasn't even 10 a.m. It was like 9.30. Got a phone call. The delivery truck broke down. Yay! Not really. Uh, but it kind of was a blessing in disguise, disguise because it gave us another day, an extra day to get the bedroom ready for the furniture that's coming for the bedroom suit. Alright, so day two, Wednesday, we did some more uh, cleaning out of our bedroom and um, our bed, we were putting it in our daughter's room. So we also spent some of Wednesday uh, cleaning out her bedroom and uh, making some room in her room. Okay, well, Thursday came, and I was like, oh man, what's going to happen today? I just know something's going to happen, and uh, we're not going to get this bedroom suit in here today. Guess what, guys? It's Friday. The bedroom suit did come yesterday. Uh... They were supposed to be here between 10 and 2. They did not get here till like 10, 2.15. Uh, and that was because they said they were shorthanded. And the guy said that the store did not have all of their supplies, or their delivery stuff together for them to deliver. And we were their first delivery. They opened up at 10 o'clock. They did not leave their store till 1.30. It took them from, okay, so they opened at 10, but they, the guy said that they actually started at 8 o'clock in the morning. So it took them from 8 o'clock to 1.30 getting the truck loaded up and ready to deliver this stuff. So if they actually would have been ready to go, they'd have been here about 15, 20 minutes after 10 yesterday. But it took them till 2.15. They, when they got here, me and Heather had been talking about it. We decided, well, we just want them to set up the bed. Um, and we'll take care of everything else. No big deal. Okay. So they get here. They're starting to set up the bed. And there's a part of the footboard that they forgot. And they had to have it in order to set up the bed. So they had to leave. Go back to their store come back so that was another 40 minutes that were gone I think they got back about 3 30 4 o'clock all right they putting the bed together and they took they did take the dresser into the bedroom for us because it was like really really heavy um so putting the bed together the dress taking the dresser in the bedroom and unloading all, all this stuff is like brand new so it's still in their boxes wrapped up neatly and everything Okay, and um, so they didn't leave here until like 7 o'clock. Oh, no, I think it was like 6 o'clock. Yeah, they didn't leave here until like 6 o'clock. Um, I said 7 because 7 o'clock is when we finally gave up and was like, um, we're pooped, it's time to go to bed. It's time to eat supper, go to bed, whatever. So we had a center for the kids and everything. So, okay. So, they leave at 6 o'clock, we go in there to look at the bed, you know, to make it up, and get ready, lay down and everything, because we still had to move the bookshelf out of the bedroom so we can move the, put the new dresser in the place where the bookshelf was at, if y'all remember where the bookshelf was at, and I don't know what just happened, my screen like went completely black, okay, so I hope I'm still recording. Uh, 
Ah, uh, just bear with me, guys. I am just trying to make sure I'm still recording. And I am. Awesome. Okay. So, we get in there, we take, and we start making up the bed and everything, and we go to move the bed over some, and the bottom of the bed, like I'll show you in a minute what I'm talking about, it was so wobbly, I was scared to sit on it, I was afraid that it was going to cave in, I was afraid that it was going to break, so me and Heather, we took the headboard off, and we was looking, and it looked like there's two braces that's missing, because it looks like there's two spots that is specifically for braces to keep the bed framed in together and sturdy and everything. So they missed two pieces, uh, and they didn't even screw the headboard down because the headboard was supposed to be screwed in. So I was extremely upset, not happy with that at all, and we were so exhausted, and we was like, where are we going to sleep? Because we had already moved our bed into our daughter's room, or, you know, our old bed into our daughter's room. So she slept sleeping on it, and... The couch was covered and stuff, so and had a bookshelf sitting in front of it, so we couldn't slip on the couch. The recliner, or, you know, nobody could sleep on the couch. The recliner had stuff all piled up in the living room, so nobody could sleep on the recliner. So I was like, fuck it, let's go out. Part of my language. I was like, you know, let's just go grab some cinder blocks. We'll brace, you know, we'll use the cinder blocks to brace up the sides of it, you know, just for tonight, and we'll call in the morning. Thankfully, it worked. We made it through the night without it breaking and we use cinder blocks like this i mean you know there ain't really any other type of cinder block we use cinder blocks like this to put okay um now the bed oh my god i slept so good last night i was in heaven it was so much softer i mean when you lay down on this bed it's a pillow top mattress okay and when you lay down on it you like you just sink into it Oh my God, I loved it. I slept so good. I was so comfortable. My hips didn't hurt when I got up or, you know, just laying there for a little while. My hips wasn't hurting or my back and the other bed that we had, it was a firm mattress and it just absolutely, absolutely killed my back and my hips. Okay, unfortunately, Heather wakes up this morning and says that her backs are killing her. Can't win for losing. But you know what? We slept on that bed, our old bed, for like six years. And I had to suffer. It's her turn. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. We'll figure out something to make it a little more comfortable with her. All right. Now, to give you a little bit of a walkthrough of everything that we've done to get ready for this transformation. All right. So standing on the porch here, we have had to move the porch around, okay, just so they could get, like, from here down... This stuff here, and then these drink crates, and this chair, and those drink crates. We had center blocks sitting in that chair. That's the reason why it looks so nasty. Uh, they were sitting down here. So we cleaned all this out, put it down there. Okay, these are two of the mattresses that came out of my daughter's room. That was some stuff that came out of my, that was in my daughter's room. Uh, because when she was younger, she had a tendency to, you know, like all children, to, uh, stuff things under their bed and say their bed's clean, their bedroom's clean. So we took her bed off of rails, set the mattresses on the floor, and we put, you know, some braces around it, okay? And this is her other mattress. So she had uh, three mattresses <laughs> that she was sleeping on. And these are the thing, two of the things that we was using to brace her bed up, okay? So, that's that. That came out of her room, and I'm getting ready to go show you her new bed. She is actually still asleep in it, and if she wakes up, she's going to be so mad. So, hopefully, I'm just going to use my flashlight on my other phone and uh, be really quiet while we're in there. I'm not even going to talk while we're in there, so I can just show you her bed, her new bed set up. All right, so here, now we're walking into the kitchen. This is the new stuff. This is uh, one nightstand. Okay, this, so this is nightstand number one, 
this box this is nice stand number two. Oh my god let me show you this is my favorite part this wood came out of the box that this night this nightstand was in and I absolutely love it I have so many ideas for this thing and yeah it looks like it's particle board it might not be particle board but it's not you know like the durablest stuff but I have so many ideas for this little frame I'm like oh no y'all not throwing that way I'm gonna use it okay so nightstand nightstand this has our two lamps in it this has our chest in it okay as you can tell floor up it's really tall okay huh this area right here coffee table rugs out of the living room we moved uh please forgive the trash uh all of this stuff right here we piled from over here this came out of the living room and it was sitting over there on that end of the kitchen you know just so they can get the stuff in here easily because you know i just don't want them using the front door all right let me get my flashlight ready okay all right now all right now that we're coming into the living room So you see all of this stuff back here like we have so much stuff we have to clean now to get this ready I mean it is insane I mean just to get ready for this stuff all right, now all right now it's time to be quiet I'm going to show you my daughter's bed Okay, so, uh, hang on just a second. All right, so that is the setup in her room. She's absolutely loving it. Oh, yes, and here is some other stuff that we've had to move in here. I mean, and it's not over with. Like, I'll show you the green bathroom. The green bathroom, we had a desk in our room that we were sitting our TV on. It is now in here on its side. So yes, joy, joy, lovely, lovey, fun, fun. All right. Now, our bedroom. So we're still not completely finished. Uh, this is the box that the other nightstand came out of. We've got it full of stuff. We used it. All right. Now here is the dresser. The mirror. We still have to put the mirror on it. But, I mean, it comes with five drawers. And it's a espresso color with chrome handles. So, it's an espresso color. All right. There's this cabinet. All right, this right here is what I was telling you about. You know where we had to put the cinder blocks in because this part it was just extremely wobbly okay now up here this part of our headboard is really nice and i really like it these open oh and there's like a little storage in here the uh center of the headboard has a mood light this uh, metal frame piece right here that you see right here it's touch censored and I absolutely love it. See, and it illuminates. You just touch it again to cut it off. Touch, turn it on. Touch, turn it off. And I absolutely adore it. It's like amazing. If I could just get my wife out of the bed so we can finish, which we can't really bring the nightstands in here or anything because the guy's coming back today to fix the bed. He promised me himself the owner, or not the owner, but the guy that actually runs it. Oh, what another thing. This is, we've also used our main bathroom as a storage like this is stuff we had sitting around 
I'm not even going to open this and I'm not even going to tell you what's in this box. Let's just say it's personal items. And, you know, this was in the bedroom too. So, I mean, we still have a lot of moving around and stuff to do. You know, I'm not quite finished. Those shelves are coming down. Um, so, I'm really excited. Our bedroom, my son's room, I'm going to work on it at some point because he's not going to. Please look over my hallway. The dogs, that's where the dogs, uh, these lamps. I have got an absolute wonderful idea for these lamps. I just don't know what, where I'm going to put them just yet, but I do have an absolute wonderful idea for them. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much the gist of the better transformation. It is so much work. It is actually more work than I thought it was going to be. Like, you just have no idea. And, you know, a person doesn't realize how much, a person does not realize how much stuff they have until they actually start going through it. I did not realize, realize that we had so much stuff. Stuff that we don't even really need. So, the, another reason why it has taken us so long to get this stuff done is because when I, while I'm going through it, I'm also sorting, you know, stuff that we don't need. You know, stuff, okay, this can go in the trash or, you know, this can go to donations uh, and whatnot. So... You know, that's taking up some extra time, too. You know, that's taking a little bit more time added into it. All right. This is going to conclude this video for now. Um, before I sign off, uh, I just want to let you know there is going to be another part. So this is part two. There is going to be a part three. Um... And it is going to be the final product. It is going to be the finished product, nice and clean, bedroom transformation ending. All right. So after that video, uh, my next project is I have been surfing around on YouTube trying to find some really good ideas to... Uh, for organization purposes for my dresser because I want to be able instead of like keeping all my makeup and my uh, skin supplies skin products and my hair products and you know my makeup products and all of that good stuff instead of keeping all of that in my bathroom because as you can tell my bathroom our bathrooms not that big um, I want to put it on my dresser Okay, and in order to do that, I need to figure out a way to uh, organize and utilize the space that I have on the dresser. So, I have been surfing around on YouTube looking for ideas, um, or some organizational ideas, and I have come up with some really cool things. And so, when I start doing those projects, I'm going to make some videos on that. If y'all would like to see those videos, let me know in the comment section. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And just, if you have any ideas of your own that you would like to throw in my way, that you would like to see me do, um, that you would think would look really good um, with the bedroom scheme, uh, the furniture is, an is called espresso color. Um, the wood color is called espresso with a chrome finish um and of course chrome is the color of the handles and all that oh i didn't show you the best part of the bed but that's okay i'm not going all the way back in there to show you that today um i will show you it in the finished product um so okay so like i said uh several videos coming up in the future uh 
the ending of this bedroom transformation uh, organization DIY videos and for those videos if y'all have any ideas uh, on things that I should do or if y'all know of any YouTube videos for me to watch so I can get some ideas let me know in those videos and those youtubers and their videos will definitely be credited and linked if I use them in my description uh, because you know everybody knows give credit where credit is due um, so uh, and the ideas that I already have when I get those videos made they will already be credited in my description page or in my description part of the video page um, so that's going to be done. Also looking forward to later on uh, a DIY and bedroom transformation for my daughter. A DIY and bedroom transformation for my son. And a complete bed dining room remodel. Maddie off the porch. Sorry. Um, talking to the dog. Um, and another video that y'all are going to see is a complete dining room remodel transformation into a bedroom okay and hopefully that project is going to be one that's going to be worked on a little bit along um that'll be a several part video uh but that'll be you know later on like i'm hoping to have the dining room transformed into a bedroom done by August so but like I said if y'all have any ideas of some DIY organization uh things that I can make up or whatever um or if y'all know any YouTubers that I can maybe get some inspiration from put them in the comment section like this video subscribe hit that notification bell and I appreciate everything you guys do every time I love you guys. This is your girl, Danny. See you next time.